So I love fun. that I just grabbed my phone and it was 7:17, and we're getting ready to do the July Patch Tarot reading. It's gonna be good. Maybe. Let's see. the camera here bring you back wow this is gonna take some you know sitting with on my part um, some new cards here I think we do have one from the previous month which one did I think that was the light the light right the light was here last month too so let me show you what the cards are present is peace with the two of swords the challenge is the, what does that say? The crown? All right, so the challenge, completion, embodiment, unfulfillment. Very interesting. As above is the full. So below is the four of cups. And I totally skipped the, the, the past is the king of discs. I've been in the sun all day. That's no excuse, Sadie. And the future is the light. light. All right, so then we've got um, internal influences of the six of swords with ascension, external influences, Ten of Wands, Resolve with a Phoenix, Prince of Cups for Hopes and Fears, and Final Outcome, Prince of Wands. So let's see what all of this means when we put it together. Oh, and I wanna show you on the bottom of the deck when I was all done, was love. I don't hardly ever show you what's on the bottom for the tarot reading, but I just thought it was so cute that it was love with this lotus flower, the two of cups. It just was really sweet. So um, right away, the cool things that I'm seeing about this um, reading is, well, the challenge, the crown is the challenge. I did not notice because the light was off whenever I was doing that first part. There's a, an incredible dragon in this card and the Merkaba is also in this card. So that really comes um, to my attention, especially because the um, internal advice is the six of swords ascension like we need to be going within we need to um, really focus on our journey right now really go meditate and external influences with the ten of wands that's resolve so it is time to forgive right it is time to transmute and and kind of get peace right that's the that's the present peace really anchored in to our reality. So I'm gonna study these a little bit more. I'm gonna check out the Patch Tro book and I will be back <laughs> with my final thoughts on these really cool cards. And I'm excited to see the King of Discs, like big time. All right, cool. Oh, and did I say this was June? This is July. I may have also said it was April earlier. I don't know, sun, all day, you guys, Whew. beautiful day. Okay, so here are the messages and thoughts for July. We'll take a better look here at these cards and of course, follow your intuition. The messages that you receive are um, so important. Feel free to share them with us all. So birth your thoughts of peace. Quiet your mind and open all three 
of your eyes. Okay, so it's really time for us, you know, to psychically be activated, wake up, wake up our third eye. Let's really see. <laughs> so open all three of your eyes. A message to take control of your destiny. You create your reality. So as one cycle ends, another begins. This is a message to embody all that you truly are. You know, you know your mission. So all the hard work completed in the physical is bringing in the light, literally, <laughs> bringing in the light. And now the veil is so thin. Now the veil is so thin. Spirit is with you. So this is truly um, a message, you know, to keep anchoring in the light and embody it. Anything can happen. <laughs> Anything can happen. All these possibilities. Okay, so let it flow. Let the energy flow to avoid stagnation. So we have been talking a lot about this in some of my other live streams this week how terrible it is, you know, to have stagnant energy. So let's keep it moving, let it flow. That's gonna serve us best. Be aware. So message to leave the old reality behind. Leave the old reality behind. As it does not serve you anymore. It doesn't allow it to crumble. <laughs> allow it to crumble and burn. Knowing that all your seeds of creation will rise anew. Release your ego's control or the need to control and all will be resolved, okay? So be mindful of where you are directing your energy. Be mindful of where you are directing your energy. And stay balanced within. Stay balanced within because you have an explosive amount of creative energy to work with right now. So stay aware and stay focused and unite your mind, your creative will, and your heart. 